Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me doing um, an elderly coat problem for May 14th, maybe May 13th. I don't know. As you can kind of see, my internet here in uh, Athens is very slow. So it is uh, kind of sad for me to, uh, you know, so I don't think I'm going to do any contest today or tonight or this weekend or whatever. Um, but I mean, at least not live. I'll, I'll do them uh, as a virtual contest and then you'll see them as re I get videos, but I'm not going to do them live just because, well, I mean, I don't have the internet to actually do them live. I, I don't do it that well, even on good days. So, you know, I need all the help I can get. Anyway, today's farm is 2466, count ways to build good strings. Given the integer zero, one, low, high. Oh yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. I don't know if I said it already. But yeah, so you could, each step you could append the zero, zero times, append the character one, one time. What, what does that even mean? What does that mean? What, what do you mean? Oh, oh, zero as in, zero as in the, the input zero. Okay. I was like, uh, yeah, I'm still in Athens, by the way, in case you can't tell from the background. I will, uh, I'll put up a, a, a video for tomorrow's prom. Today, I, uh, I just did a, um, uh, did I turn it off? Yeah, 11 mile hike or 12 mile hike. So I'm really drained, a little bit tired, even though it's only 2 p.m. here, but, uh, I need more sugar. But in any case, uh, yeah, but I went zero. I don't mean like, if you do zero times, I mean, you're just not adding it. I don't get it. But I see that this is the input. Uh, okay. Maybe they could have just used Z instead of Z zero. Maybe that would have been more or less, or less confusing. Anyway, I do notice the mod. So let's put in the mod before I forget and put in the correct mod before I forget. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you could add zero and you can add one, right? Okay. So one possible string is zero one one zero. A good string is a string constructed by a bell process having a length between low and high. Okay. Seems like. Yeah, seems like. Um, let's see. How do I? How would I think about it? I mean, this is clearly dynamic programming, uh, but how would I think about it? Right. So basically, you can you start with a length zero and then you could add either so the zero and one doesn't actually matter or at least like you know the numbers don't matter you just basically have two choices you either add add i'm gonna call them a and b you could add something a you could add to length a times or you could add to length b times right and and then anything that's between low and high then that's the answer okay i think that's really it right so then here you can say maybe you know, uh, get count, right? And then current, right? Is current is the number, the length of the string, right? So, mm, so total is equal to zero, right? Uh, okay. If current is greater than high, we return zero. Otherwise, total is zero if low. Duh, 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 then, then the current length that we have is, is 1, so we increment by 1, maybe, and then we return total. And of course, uh, in, this, in every other case, we also want total to add in two cases, right? We want to get count of current plus 0, and we want to do... So this is like very Fibonacci-y, maybe not quite, but like, you know, that idea, right? It's f of x is you go to... Or f sub x, sorry, f or yeah, f of x maybe. I don't know. I'm confused today. But f of x is equal to f of x minus z and f or plus f of z minus b, and then you have this thing. I think this is maybe correct, maybe not. And then let me just run it real quick because these things kind of uh, could be tricky. Starting with length zero. Okay, so this looks good. Uh, of course, these are very small numbers, so it's hard to say. Uh, we we want to try a bigger case, but before that, obviously, we have to do some memorization. Uh, notice that current can only go up to high, so so and high is ten to the fifth. So we should be okay. We should be okay here if we just cache up to uh, up to 
up to high or up to high plus one maybe and then just a symbol that has cash of current return cash of current And now we can try something like bigger, right? From like one to uh, 10 to the fifth. And then, yeah, this would be like two to, oh. But one thing that I that is good is that uh, I do not do, I forgot about the mod here. We, should, we have to add a mod here. And this should be faster as a result, and it's about three times faster. If it looks good for that one, it, it should be okay, maybe, unless I have an off by one. It looks good. Uh, yeah. Keep that streak going. This is going to be all of high times, which is exponential in the, lum the size of the input. Um, I think probably. I mean, I don't know if it's a easy construction, to be honest. Maybe it is, but I could just be wrong. Uh, I mean, because if, if it's Fibonacci, then you could, you know, use... I mean, th th you can probably... Uh, or What is that sound? I'm dropping it. You could certainly do it. Um, I don't know if there's a easy... I don't know if it's easy, easy, but smart people can do it with uh, matrix multiplication. Repeat matrix multiplication to kind of get this in linear time, and linear being the size of bits, because this is... Uh, yeah. With, with what what is known as the Q matrix, uh, definitely read up on that if, if that's something you're interested in. I, I don't know if it quite works, but it is something worth learning anyway. If you if you want to solve these kind of problems at some point, uh, the harder version of this maybe. Uh, yeah. Mm, yeah. I think that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Stay good. Stay healthy. To good mental health. I'll see y'all later. And take care. Bye bye.